Now here is a work in progress most people don't actually get to see. Certainly not from this perspective anyway. And that's because it can be incredibly unsafe for the average person and even involves a fair amount of risk for experienced professionals. I hope you're not afraid of heights because this team is assembling and installing a balcony fence. And they're out on an unenclosed platform until that fence is installed. Just take a look at the heights they're working from. And the first thing they do to carefully measure the spacing where those rails connect to the wall and of course where they route to the balcony platform. Pre-drilling and fixing rebar often used for reinforcing concrete and once it's in place for a few of those rails they're slotted right over top of the rebar sticking out of the concrete and plaster. Other sections simply welded to the rail. They've even got to carefully custom cut one section of the fence in place in order to have it align and fit, not to mention cutting those ends off to ensure it meets the wall perfectly. Creating a space under the rail to drive the rebar in and once it's flush with the wall, it's time for a little trim off the end where the two sections of rail meet. Carefully aligned and then one of the panels removed to be safe as they begin welding these two sections together. Those sparks could burn and even cause one of those panels to catch fire. You can see stick welding being used here. Plenty of material added in the form of beads all the way around. And once tested for secure, then it's time to drive more of that rebar down and in before the rail can be secured. From there, on to attaching the other side securely. And you can see that section of reinforced iron rod being driven up at an angle, helping to wedge the rail in place before it's welded there. And again, plenty of that material in the form of welding beads run all around and not just inside, but then on top as well, driven as deep into the concrete and plaster as possible and then butted up as closely as possible before that material is added all the time, checking for square and checking for level. Too much of that rebar sticking out can be a hazard and unsightly. So it's trimmed and with just about all the other work done, it's time to clean up the weld point along the rails. A quick coat of paint and again, a look at just how high these gentlemen are working from. A job that's a little risky, looking very well done.